Okay, so welcome to a new series on Coder's Guide. Um, in this series, we're going to be looking at installing uh, a web server onto Windows. Now, we're going to be using IIS uh, 7 or 8 for this. Um, with Windows 7, Vista, and below, you get IIS 7. And with Windows 8, you get IIS 8. The steps in this will be very similar for both of them. In fact, I found them to be exactly the same for my laptop running Windows 7 and my desktop, which is running Windows 8. Uh, so this series is going to be on Windows 8, but it doesn't really make much difference. Okay, so what we're going to be doing in the series is we're going to be installing um, the inf Internet Information Services, which is IIS, and that will be distributing our uh, our site. And that will be able to distribute uh, files and HTML files. It will not, however, be able to distribute PHP files. So we'll be installing PHP 5, and I'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial. We'll also be installing MySQL, which we'll use to run our databases, which we can kind of integrate databases with PHP. So MySQL will run the databases. Uh, we'll also install something called PHP MyAdmin, which will allow us to uh, sort of manage our databases at our web, uh, our web um, interface. Um, and then we'll also install FTP so that we can access our files from outside of the network. So the first thing you want to do we don't need to install any so we don't need to download any software from the internet for IAS. We just got to go to uh, your control panel. Uh, in Windows 8, that's the case of just going to the top right settings control panel. Uh, in Windows 7, you just got to go start control panel. Uh, we're going to go into programs, turn Windows features on or off. Okay, so this shows all the Windows features we've got. And you see some of these are on, some of them are off. Just expand that. The one we're looking for is Internet Information Services. Not this one that says Hostable Web Core, just informa Internet Information Services. We're going to check the box. Now you see this doesn't check everything. Uh, it doesn't check FTP server, but when we come back to FTP, we'll sort that out. Uh, go into Web Management Tools, and it's got IAS Management Console. This is going to be uh, this is all we need for managing our sites and creating multiple sites and everything. Uh, you see, we can open these up, but don't worry about that, we'll leave that the same. Go to Worldwide Web Services, and under here, Application Development Services, Services, and we need to enable CGI. Now, CGI allows us to install PHP. Um, I can't remember what it stands for, I'll probably put it as a caption or something. But, CGI is what we need to run PHP on the server. So, uh, select, P uh, select CGI. And we can just press OK. Now, this, as you can see, is searching required files. Then it will download, well, it doesn't need to download them, it just needs to install them. And I'm going to fast forward this bit, so I will see you when we when it's fully installed. OK, so you can see here that Windows is fully installed IAS, so now we need to test it out. So, simply open your web browser, it's got on my other monitor, and type in at the top localhost. And if it all works, We'll see the IIS screen and there we go you see the IIS screen this is just telling you that it works uh, so this is where your web page would normally be if you don't really know localhost is the same as putting in you know your 192.168 that IP address um, it's just basically putting in your own IP address so this is how people will see your site when they connect to it so let's go into the management console so to get to that what we need to do is just go just go to search and type in IIS and that gives you Internet Information Services. It'll be the same for Windows 7 almost. You just go to start and then search in there. Uh, just go to do not show this message again and press no. So this is the management console. So we can see here we can manage error pages, so you know 401, 403, all of that. Um, we can get all these features like uh, directory browsing, we can disable this and change what shows up when we're browsing directories, we'll look at that later. Um, authentication, we can kind of manage who can get onto the site and everything. So this is pretty much IIS. We'll be looking at this in the next tutorials as to how to install PHP. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial. Uh, you can now distribute HTML pages and I'll show you how to do that in one of the following tutorials as well. So thank you for watching, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe if you found this useful and I'll see you in the next tutorial.